Hi Pisces, it's Karen and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. So this is a reading for any uh, sun, moon or rising Pisces. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the big ideas or awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, I enjoy fanning them out. I like seeing the cards laid out and just sensing of where I want to pull from. So the first two cards. Interesting. We have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, Water, Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we see the fella here uh, sitting underneath the tree and contemplating. He could also be sulking. He's looking straight ahead at his cups and kind of has a tunnel vision of looking forward. He's not using his peripheral vision to see that someone is offering him a cup. Uh, and this can represent that you're not seeing opportunities, you may be missing opportunities, you may be so focused on something that you're unable to uh, take in that information. Often when we look at the Four of Cups, it's about trying to get a handle on something that maybe isn't making you feel pretty good. You may feel stagnant, you may feel bored, you may feel that um, uh, you need to bring some life into your situation. So this Four of Cups is very much of sitting here, taking yourself away. It's really a sense of solitude, thinking about things. Maybe you're looking for a change, but you're in this reflective mode of trying to get out of the, you know, sometimes you just feel stuck um, and thinking about how you're going to do it. And so What's very interesting is another four, this four of pentacles as your awareness, which is the sense of holding on to what you have. Here is this man, he's got his crown, he's got a pentacle weighing on his head, the pentacle he's clutching, covering his heart, and he's got his feet trapping the pentacles, and it's very much a sense of control. So, Awareness of the week is perhaps there's some sense that you're not feeling as satisfied or fulfilled and you're kind of, you're, you're invested in keeping control, con con keeping control of your finances, of your time, of your energy, and that you're not willing to let it go. There's something that is important to you to hold on to. And that's fine, you know, Taking yourself out and uh, reflecting, thinking about life and being in a status quo position where you're not making any crazy moves or you're risking your portfolio or your savings or whatever it may be. Um, there, He looks pretty stern faced too and there's some thought going on is that I need to stay right where I am. And again, it's up to each person. There are times we have the peaks and valleys of our life where we are in a position to really give or to change things up. I'm going to push these up. Uh, and there are positions when we really need to watch what we have and keep an eye on it. And the time to give will come later on, perhaps. So now in terms of guidance... So really interesting, we have the Ace of Cups, a gift or blessing from the universe, the chance, the opportunity 
to you know, have a great relationship, to have a great connection, to feel the spark of attraction, the spark of love, to meet someone that makes you feel joyful and alive. And this is the promise of happiness and of delight and of joy and of uh, allowing your emotions to come through, to really express how you feel, to be in touch with your emotions, to share your emotions, the kindness and the consideration. So here, after this sense of, of perhaps you're thinking that you need more in your life, and yet you're not, you know, you're kind of maybe afraid to take changes, you're kind of holding forth, Here's this beautiful card, which is open yourself up, open up your heart, open up, you know, everything about you so that you can bring in these emotional connections and love opportunities into your life. And again, it could be a great friendship. It could be a bond, a super um, bond of friendship, but this is meaningful. It brings joyfulness and happiness. So with this happiness, here's the Seven of Cups, which goes to the idea of having all of these options, all of these cups with something else in. You may be thinking the what if game. You may be playing that game, which what if I went in this direction? What if I went in this direction? And this person, he may feel dazzled. He may feel confused. He may feel overwhelmed with choices again. It's how people respond to their own situation, which is you might have to appreciate that you have a lot of choices, that you're thinking and fantasizing. That's the first step to going and stepping outside of your safe zone is to allow yourself to daydream, to allow yourself to visualize, to allow yourself to fantasize. Ultimately, you may have to choose one of these cups in order to make it a reality. But there's a sense here that um, you're thinking of the possibilities and the possibilities is what's going to bring you emotional relief here with the Ace of Cups instead of this feeling of maybe of feeling discontent or woe is me. Now let's take a look at possible outcomes. Okay, so possible outcomes, Ten of Swords. Something happens that is highly upsetting. It makes you feel as if you hit rock bottom. Uh, whether this is someone stabbing you in the back or betraying you where you encounter that or you have a feeling of dread or despair you know this it, it doesn't get any worse than having these swords from the back of your neck all the way into your looks like it's behind um so interesting card here is that with all these options and happiness here we do have this sense of defeat and of uh, being very upset. So what I would say is that these minor arcana cards show up. It's our daily grind. It's the, the daily life that we have to deal with. And so when you see this, it's like, yeah, I'm in a, I, I've been in a bad place or I have uh, thoughts that are not helping me. And I need to find a way to step out of this. I need to get back to a safer and more normal feeling. Focus on the light. Here's the horizon. This is the end. It's a 10 of swords. And so look toward the light. Look for something new. And maybe there's just something that has to end for you in order to, for you to access the happiness that is present here with the Ace of Cups and the choices that you're going to have to either really feel the end, acknowledge the pain, live with the pain. Ultimately, you're going to be happy. And then we have Temperance here, Major Arcana, in this 
flowing water between the cups, the marriage between physical sense and spiritual sense with the water and uh, the toe on the ground. And so with temperance, particularly next to the Ten of Swords, it is a true reminder to you to take care of yourself, to allow yourself to recover, to um, pull together all the aspects of your life, that, to find the harmony within your life again. Do so through meditation, through journaling, through nature walks, through spending time with friends for support. But this is don't go to extremes. If you have been going to extremes, and this is pretty extreme, try to find a way to get the balance back into your life. It seems that you have, uh, you've been holding on to something. Uh, you may have been missing opportunities, and then here's the Ace of Cups saying, I'm presenting you with opportunities for real happiness. And here you've been toying around with lots of options, Maybe something doesn't work out or something really pulls you down for, you know, a couple days or a small time frame. Temperance says, get back into the flow of your life, find the balance, maintain your equilibrium, do the things that are going to get you back there. So just pull these back. Very interesting. Now let's take a look at the messages from the oracle cards. This will be a meditation point or focus area for the week. Rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. So allow yourself to get wet. Let this go, whatever ending, whatever finality that there is, there's the promise of something new. Heal the present. Temperance, giving you guidance to heal. Giving you permission to heal. Have faith in that Ace of Cups. So now let's choose uh, spirit or emotional self. Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything, may, everything is made of energy, and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So not only seeking uh, or listening to messages of spirit from the universe, it's also seeking and understanding your truth and being uh, honoring that truth. And finally, let's get a card for love and let's see what additional messages we have for love. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. And it's such a wonderful idea and simply be honest with yourself, be honest with those that you love and care for. And yet, honestly, honestly, you know, be honest with everyone. I mean, uh, it's just easier that way, right? A loving, considerate, kind manner. This is what I have for you for the week. And I hope that you found something helpful here today. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, and comment. I'd love to hear from you. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Take care.